for the problem today I will show you how to thin uh, when you see a radical equation and how you find the approach or the method to solve it now let's get started as you see that we have the radical equation with the q root of x plus 1 minus q root of x uh, minus 1 equal to 6 root of x squared minus 1 first of all we rewrite the equation okay first step of this kind of radical equation we see that this is the even number that means we have to check the condition of x and because this is the even number so inside that root we under that uh, perhaps and under that radical it have to be ratio equal to zero it means x have two case the first case for x condition is x has to be ratio or equal to one or x has to be ratio has to be less or um equal to negative 1 then that is the first thing about the condition the next is you can see on the left side we have x plus 1 on and x minus 1 on the right side we have the x square minus 1 which uh, temporarily remove the radical you see what is the connection between the left and the right you see the product of the left would be equal to the right is it so based on that file you can use the substitution variable and the substitution variable have to uh, check case by case from the condition now we select the case one with x greater or equal to one if x equal or greater to one we put the substitution that a equal to square root of 6 root of x plus 1 and p equal to 6 root of x minus 1 remember a and p is ratio equal to 0 because that is 6 root that is even root so we put that one from one we can rewrite the equation like this a square minus b square equal to a p then what next the next is if if you divide the left side to the right side of the equation it would be it would be equal it would be become a very similar form you have to see it in many kind of math problem but to do that to do that first of all you have to check 
A and B, the route of A and B have to be different from zero. It's obviously different from zero because if if A and B A multiplied by B equal to zero mean x equal to one or x equal to negative one the second case we um don't check that because x greater than one for this case if we replace one into the equation reply into this and this becomes zero and on the left side is not equal to zero so it means it impossible and x equal to one is not a root of the equation so then we imply that a b have to be different from zero then we can divide it two sides of two for a b and it become three from three from three we put another substitution k equal to a b then three will be become k minus one over k equal to one is the equivalent to k square minus k minus one equal to zero remember that k is also right or equal to zero and this is very basic quadratic equation and you can apply the formula to calculate that root then we have k will be equal one minus r plus square root of five over two so we just receive one root here because k is greater or equal than zero so it mean it mean k equal to one plus square root of five over two so that's it, the value of k and replace back to the equation you would have the square root 6 root of the x plus 1 equal to x minus 1 equal to 1 plus square root 5 over 2 then x plus 1 x minus 1 equal to power of 6 over 2 power of 6 then we have this is the uh, uh, you can see on the right side it is a big complex because it contain the radical and also the the high power but you can apply step by step like power of 2 equal to um, 6 plus 2 square and then next is you use that to cue the exception then you will care simplify the right side of this and then you easily to find x will equal to the square root of 5 over 2 and we compare a path to the condition that e greater than 1 is stratified condition so we receive this root so x equal to square root of 5 over 2 is one uh, a root of this equation so 
next we check the case x less than or equal to negative 1 for this case we put another substitution like a equal to 6 root of 1 minus x and p equal to 6 root of negative x minus 1 so the equation would be become the same a square minus b square equal to a b similarly with the uh, above explanation you will have the same method with case equal to 1 plus square root 5 over 2 but in this case this value would be equal to sec root of x minus 1 over x plus 1 this is a slightly different with the above one then from that we apply the same method then we receive x equal to negative square root of 5 over 2 check it back with the condition is smaller than negative 1 that's correct so we receive this value as a root of the equation finally finally we have two roots of the equation is x equal to square root of 5 over 2 and second is x equal to negative square root of 5 over 2 so that is the result of the equation from this video the lesson we can learn is the most important thing is put the condition when you see the even root uh, under the radical in this case it is number is six and then you put the substitution value after that if you think that you should apply one time for substitution value that is not correct for on uh, the problem you might be do it twice in this case you have to do another substitution with k equal to a over b and finally you can see that it become a very simple variety equation then you just apply a formula to show to check the value then we see the x value so that's it thanks for watching see you later bye